uh, Professor Kitan. Uh, hmm. Sorry, not Kitagama. Uh, Professor Kiyama. Kiyama. Yes. You know, Kitagama is our CEO. He's your boss, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and to digress a bit, <laughs> actually, met him here at the fifth floor yeah. during one of national leadership forum. Yes, yes. And uh, I got my nation job from him. Ah! Excellent. Yes. So <laughs> story, yes, that's that's yes, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. thank you so much for making time with uh, yeah. MC for uh, it's a great day, and uh, yeah. I'm so happy to, to just sit in front of you and talk to you. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, there's a lot of jokes. Maybe mm. some you've never heard. But, yes. Uh, yeah. Now we have yeah. the time, so yeah. uh, just briefly uh, mm. introduce yourself. Yes, I'm uh, Professor Kiyama. Uh, Stephen Kiyama, the Vice Chancellor, University of Nairobi. I took over the leadership of this university in the January of the 2020. Uh, so, and since then, I have uh, served very diligently with the team that I found here, which is very hardworking. And we have worked together to get the university to where it is now. A better institution. Yes. Okay. Mm. Uh, before becoming yeah. the vice chancellor for this yeah. state university, mm. what other you know notable positions mm. have you held mm. uh, just before transitioning to the helm? Oh, I have held uh, very many positions. Uh, one of them I held uh, in the university is when I when I was employed. I was given. Uh, a house, I was allocated a house, and uh, we were residents in that compound, about uh, maybe about six or so of us. And after some time, I was the chairman of that community, yeah. uh, mainly just uh, collecting the, the, the money to pay security, you know, and to ensure that the compound is clean and if there is any problem there. Uh, I'm the one responsible. When was but oh, that was 1990. Yeah. Okay. 1990, 1991, 1993. But um, since then, uh, I've taken other uh, positions. And even before then, I was uh, uh, given positions in church where I served. Where I served as a, as a chairman of the youth uh, fellowship uh, uh, for, for quite some years. But um, uh, in the university, I've served as a head of the department of fet anatomy and physiology. I have served as a associate dean of the faculty of veterinary medicine. I have served as an acting dean of the faculty of veterinary medicine. Yes. I have served as a director of Wangari Madai Institute for Peace and Environmental Studies. I have served as the principal of the College of Agriculture and Veterinary Sciences. I have served as the Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of Human Resources and Administration. And I have also acted as a Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of Finance, Planning and Development. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> I also served in various other positions, like uh, if you remember those days when you were here, I was also serving as a chair sometime yes. of the Senu Electoral Commission, yes. <laughs> uh, which was giving us some quite some sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> conducting, uh, conducting the, 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 the student elections, uh, where you 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 you, you woke up, uh, for example, on a, on a Thursday. The next time you you are able to go to bed would be Saturday afternoon. Yeah, after the swearing in, <laughs> the student will not allow you to sleep for the time you begin to the time you you announce the results. Yeah. I told you, there used to be quite something, but uh, we, 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 we had the energy yes. uh, and we were able to take it through. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Mm. Now, mm. Uh, we see, uh, mm. where were you born? And uh, yes. how was it growing up? Yes. I know you were born in the area. Um, yes. Yeah. But share with us about yeah. how it was growing up, going yeah. to school, which primary school, and yes. yeah. high yeah. school, and, yes. yeah. and then later in life, going yes. to Europe. Yes, I, I was born uh, in, uh, in Odaya, Nyeri, uh, that is in a place called Dhoti, uh, which is in a Kalema location, but Dhoti is a location. Yes. And I uh, was brought up there uh, until I went to primary school, in Gatuge Primary School. But uh, 
before then, you know, those days we used to go to nursery school, for example. And the, although in the primary there was no changes, in nursery school, what we call now the pre-unit, uh, they were charging yes. some money. And I remember uh, that time when uh, the, we could not, the, the family did not have that money uh, to pay. Yes. So I dropped off uh, school uh, briefly until the nursery school teacher spotted me walking on the road sometime. And he said, where have you been? It's because we don't have money. You come to school. Yeah. So I went back to school, to nursery school until I finished um, and then joined the primary school uh, in the neighborhood, which was a walking distance, uh, but uh, n not, not so close, yeah. Yes. Uh, maybe about uh, two to three kilometers away. But uh, you would uh, go running and yeah. running back, and, uh, which you, uh, to remain uh, very fit, yeah. Yes. Uh, up to now, I finished primary school there, then went to secondary school those days, and then after that, high school. Uh, to Nakuru High and then after that to University of Nairobi uh, to do Bachelor of Veterinary Medicine. Yes. Um, Did you have interest to pursue mm -hmm. uh, medicine or you were yes. called? Uh, you know, no, you know, when I was growing up I got very interested with the biology. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I, and, uh, and then also uh, my sister was uh, trained at went for training as an animal health assistant. Uh -huh. And I really used to admire her. Uh, seeing uh, when you visit her, uh, where she was staying, and then you see the way her house is very organized. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you, 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 when you wake up in the morning, when she, she you visit her, then you wake up in the morning, you can have some bread, and then also jam and the brew bad, you know. And then you, you look forward to becoming <laughs> like her. <God. Yes. laughs> and, and then uh, also there was another uh, guy who was doing fat in a neighborhood. Uh, he was called Dr. Sheila. And I would see also him walking on the road with a nice walk. And I, I thought that if I was to do any program, I would do veterinary medicine. Okay. But I had a lot of interest on my own in biology, and I have shared this uh, previously. I would uh, wait sometimes for some, when, 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 when dogs or cows die. After some time, I would be able to uh, remove the soil. Uh, when they have, uh, the, the fresh is off the bones. Yeah. And then try to reconstruct that, yeah. Oh. Yes, to learn the pieces of bones, whether it's a vertebral column, I know this is a cervical, this is oh. rubber, vertebral, this is this. I used to really like that kind of thing, yeah. This is yeah. during the time you were in high school. This, this, this is when I was in high school, yes, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. And at, uh, I, was in a, I was in Kenyatta High School, Mahiga. Okay. Yeah, for high school. Oh. Mm. Mm. That's and when I used to. In a school oh. from, from oh. five and from oh. six. Okay. Uh, in a, a national school, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. When you were growing up, yes. how would you describe your mother yes. and your dad in, the, yeah. in terms of? Uh, yes. Disciplining key. Yes. Uh, yeah. That was your uh, mom or your parents. Uh, uh, those kind of, pa of uh, parents who would want uh, to see uh, their kids excel in education. Yes. Or yeah. that never, you know, uh, uh, knock their minds. Yeah. It was just uh, a self, you know, thing that you yeah. wanted to pursue education. In your yes. Life. Yeah. My my dad was uh, in Nairobi here doing some business, so we were with uh, our mother uh, back at home. The mother was uh, keen only to the extent that when you come to, from school uh, to see the report form, oh. to see what number were you. At the end of the time. At the, yes, at the end of the time, what number were you. That was adequate. But at least she ensured all of us went to school. And if you dropped out of school, she, 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 she would never allow that. Myself, I did it. I was enjoying. But it's, there were some, my, some of my elder brothers who were trying to, to bring some mischief. Yes. But, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> what she tells us, but uh, she remained very firm that uh, we, we must go to, to, to school, yeah. Okay. yeah. Do you, mm -hmm. what was the name of this, uh, you know, uh, preschool teacher, let me say preschool, yes, you were not to study your class one. Yes, yes. Who had you come back to school? This uh, was, uh, we, we, we used to just call her Mama Wamuyu, you know, uh, Eunice, uh, her name, yeah. 
uh, because you know where the pre unit there, they are seen all, all like mothers. Yeah. So I still remember her. So when I, went, when I now was appointed vice chancellor, I ensured I invited her. Uh, to my event, yeah, which I organize in like, there. She's still alive. She's still alive. That on your yes. From the website. Yes. Yes. How old is she today? Oh, I don't know, but she may be going 90 now, but uh, still very. She looks she, quite strong. Yeah. Yeah. Can you recognize you when she can recognize me. She okay. serves in the church. Very active member, serving in the church in the local community. Yeah. How did you feel mm. when uh, yeah. when 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 you are being installed as VC? Yes. And she was there. Yes. Well, yeah. Because you see, mm. it, it can mm. be something mm. little yeah. that she did, yeah. but yeah. just, yeah. the hell, yeah. Did, yeah. she never, yeah. 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 but I think it was something, it was it, a foundation she was laying. It was quite a foundation she laid. Uh, you know, we were not able to do um, a physical uh, installation, you remember? Yes. We did uh, yes. most of the things first, we invited just a few. Yeah. But after that, I went home. Okay. Uh, for Thanksgiving service, that's when I invited her. It felt very nice with yeah. her there. Yeah. It, it, it's a sign. Yeah. It, you feel really <laughs> yes. self actualizing that happens. Uh, completely. Yes. Because yes. Yeah. When I joined your end, yeah. I was homeless. It's a yes. Story. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then some of your lecturers paid yeah. 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 school fees here. Yes. I yeah. didn't have anywhere to go. I uh -huh. spent most of my time here. Mm -hmm. And my mm -hmm. uh, my position as the chairman of the School of Young Student yeah. Body yeah. Leadership. Mm. I was not elected, I was yeah. appointed. Uh -huh. But during that time when I think you guys said no election is not good. Yes, yes, yes. Elected. Yeah. So I was appointed by the director after some lecturers endorsed me. So you are a professional uh, leader or yeah. what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So uh, when I was given this card, yes. you know, I interned for ten months. Yes, yeah. And now I when I was given this card when I was now being employed. Yes. I took a, a, a short break. Yes. And came to the university. Yes, yeah. And mm. knocked the doors of all my lecturers. Yes. And presented this to them. Yes. And thanked them for uh, enabling me. I wanted to become a journalist from way. Oh, back. excellent. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I felt mm. so nice mm. and had to. I went mm. and thanked them. Yes, yes, yeah. So I know how it feels when you, you remember yeah. somebody yeah. played a part in having me be the person you are today. Correct, correct, so yeah. So that's yeah. really great. Yeah. Now, yeah. Uh, you yeah. uh, mm. from Nakuru mm. uh, High School, where you, you, you are? Yes, yeah. Four, five, five, and six. Yes, yeah. yeah. Then uh, you are here at the University of Nairobi. Yes, yeah. You spent four years here. Yes, I said for four years. The federal medicine, that time it used to take uh, four years, yeah. Okay. Of less than sure, but then there used to be attachment in the, in, in third year, and there also attachment in second year. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, a short uh, attachment for eight weeks. Yeah. Mm. Which which years are these when you were in? I was in, uh, here doing thirteen eighty six to nineteen ninety. to nineteen ninety. Yes, yes. Now when you when you are done. Yeah. You became an assistant lecturer. Oh, what was it? Yes, I became an assistant lecturer. Okay. So. Uh, uh, a friend of mine mentioned to me, ah, they, 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 they are looking for a lecturer in, a, in, a, in anatomy. Okay. I was at that time, when I finished, uh, we were finishing around uh, June or thereabout. Yes. After I finished, I, I was now planning to see what next, what is my next move. I was, it was clear in my mind that uh, I want to come back to the university for postgraduate training. Okay. Uh, because I had tried, I had practiced a little, and I thought that uh, I, I still have quite a bit of uh, brain left, yeah, yes. <laughs> rather than just uh, just 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 practicing what I learned, yes. but to add slightly more knowledge. Yes. So I was just thinking, what what should I take? And I had uh, different options I was thinking about. So when uh, this was mentioned, anatomy, it was in in one of those okay. I thought I should do. So I I I, I, I applied. And then I was uh, taken uh, in September okay. as an assistant lecturer. Uh, then I, uh, those days, at that time, it used to be like on contract. Oh. But in uh, th uh, three months, in December now, early January of the coming year, yes. I was given now another letter to say now it is permanent. Oh. But it's still an assistant lecturer. So, so I was uh, now teaching and also uh, conceptualizing my master's, yes. the master's yeah. program. Yeah which I started and looking for money and all that and finished by 1995, I got my master's, yeah. What mm. did it take for someone who just finished their mm. graduate yes. to become an assistant lecturer? Yes. Did you have to pass so well or you have, 
you have to be exceptional in some way. Yeah, you uh, even uh, uh, until recently we still hired in medicine, veterinary, in architects they hire uh, when you finish your first degree, okay. because you see, you you would find not many people come to do uh, postgraduate training in some of those programs. Yes. They would rather go out and uh, apply the knowledge they have gained. Yes. So they, they provide an opportunity, they hire you, and then you train. Uh, so you felt quite uh, nice, you know. But the first thing is that you have to have performed well in that subject area. That's what they looked at. And two, they also did uh, uh, ranking. Like the one I mentioned to you in primary school, yes. where you, you, the, 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 the parent would ask for a report form. Yes. So in federal medicine, they also do ranking. The first is what you have qualified, and then in the class of 90 or class of 70, what number are you? Yeah. So based on what you are and how you perform in that subject, then you can be considered uh, when there is an opportunity to come in and, and teach yeah okay yes mm. now uh, mm. you, after how long did you teach before i think it was long you taught yes. for long before yes. you decided to go for your phd yes because uh, i after i finished my masters i was at my masters in 1995. Yes. Uh, then uh, after that now I started figuring out what program i would do uh, for phd uh, i got uh, the first opportunity I got was to go to university, a uh, university in Germany, yes. in Essen. Yeah, and I, I considered there was supposed. I went for interview by DAD uh, to DAD, and they uh, succeeded in getting this scholarship. But at the same time, there was some other professor uh, who was keen to have me in the University of Bern. Okay. So he was also exploring how I can go there. So. Finally, when I received this scholarship from, to go to Germany, just before I took it up, this other one for Switzerland also came up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, my, my dilemma was, uh, which should I take here? Yeah. Yes. There were a number, there were consideration. The, 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 the German one, I was to do a very, um, just like to continue with what I had done in uh, my master's. Okay. What was about special organs. I was working on the eye okay. of the bird. Yes. Uh, a that structure called uh, eye of the bird. A structure called the pectin oculi. Okay. Which you find only in birds. Eye. It projects from uh, what we call the optic disc. Projecting into the, into the vitreous chamber. And I was trying to find out what does it do? Does it make the birds see better? Yeah? Uh, and, and exactly, etc., etc., allowed there. And then, uh, so that's, I wanted now to work on some uh, sensory organs, yes. because I is a sensory organ. Yes. Sensory organs of the, some animals we call the naked mullet. And I tried to find out uh, how does it operate uh, a subterranean life. It operates underground. Yes. It doesn't have, uh, the, the eyes are very small. The ears, it's like they are not there, but uh, the hair, it doesn't have hair. How does it coordinate? Yes. Yeah. Um, so that's what I wanted to work on, and that's what I got scholarship. But now, in Bern, I was also starting to think about uh, some uh, a project, which relates also to more to real life. Yeah. Not working with animals, but <laughs> trying to see, <laughs> to find something about the lungs, uh, the, the ones we used to breathe. Yes and find out how they defend themselves. Uh, again, it's the, the many things that you inhale when you walk around. How, how do you, uh, you see when you look at the, the, the nose, there's no blocks. You, when you inhale, yeah, it's dust, it just goes straight, yes. isn't it? So now the issue is how does the lung uh, try to keep its, the body safe still when the, 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 the nose and the, all the, 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 the ducts allow all this dust to come in, yeah. So I just, ah, then I thought I should, uh, that, that's a project I should take. But even more, uh, they had indicated that uh, if I go and I take about one year, and it is settled that I can continue with my scholarship there, then my family uh, can join me there. Okay. And they also support them oh. with some little stipend yeah. to ensure they can also live with me. Yeah. So I said, ah, this is a good, this is a good scholarship.
the, the, yeah. the German one. The, the Swiss. The Swiss one. Yes. But the yeah. German was also gave me opportunity that I can go and uh, I will get uh, paid some stipend and I can come back home uh, sometimes three months or so to collect certain data and they'll be paying me also. So it wasn't a very easy, but it was one sure of the most difficult decisions. Yeah, they, they were providing that the family can also join, yeah, yes. uh, with certain conditions, but they did not have those things of uh, stipend for family, oh, etc. Okay. But, uh, but it, it wasn't an easy one. Because yeah. you see, I have written this proposal, and I've also been working with this professor. He is happy to receive me. And then at the, at the side, I'm also exploring yeah. this. Then finally, you, you select this one. <laughs> that was a difficult decision. Yes. But uh, looking yeah, back, I think that, it... created a relationship with him. Yes, also, yeah. I know it must have been very it was very. It was very difficult, but uh, I, I was happy uh, to make the decision I made. And finally, when I went to Bern, I worked with the Professor Peter Gare, a very great mentor, yeah, who uh, worked with me now for the four years I was doing my PhD, uh, would invite me to his house, we go there, we eat, we have some drink together, we go to the kitchen, we cook together, you know, uh, and, and so we became like a, a friend, not just a supervisor, like a mentor, yes. and, and that I associate to a large extent what I became because of the input he put in mentoring me. Yes, wow. yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this time mm -hmm. when you're visiting him, is your family also in Switzerland? Uh, I stayed there uh, alone because it was expected that I have to take one year. Yes. Uh, after this one year, the professor will decide whether he wants to continue. Uh, and I will also have to decide whether I want to continue with the program. So that one year is, uh, is, is testing each other. Do you, do you have the correct chemistry to work together? Okay. Yeah. So then after that, you give an independent report. You give an independent report whether he wants to continue working with you. And then you also write it to say whether you want to work. <laughs> <laughs> so you cannot bring family through that period. Yes. But before even starting, I had to go through uh, Freiburg for three months to be introduced to, to be given introductory courses on German language. Because Bern is a, is a, is a German speaking canton, yeah. Yes. So I had to go to a class to learn a little German to know my way around, yeah, yeah. So, um, so that's how it, it went. And then I worked with him uh, after one year, he said yes. Then after that, I brought my family. Oh. And when I brought my family, the first thing, uh, was like a trial because uh, my, the, the wife I had, the wife had a son, they were not, she was not very sure uh, that uh, she would to come and stay long because she also had a job here. Oh. But so what I did was to see how do, where do I stay for a short time because then I was staying in a, in a student hostel. Yes. And they said, okay, now what do I do is, is I, I get a house for somebody who is going on a holiday, yeah. And uh, it was called Tafda. I still remember. Yeah, in an area called Mosadov. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so she uh, she came. We stayed there with our son until now. Those uh, three months ended, and then she chose to stay there. So we had to move out now and look for another house where we can stay uh, with the family. And we got a small, fairly small house so that we can save some little money yeah. to come and do other things with it here. It was just a, a, a bed sitter. The bed is here, the kitchen is here, the sitting room is here. And we, we, we were able to survive there uh, for, for that long. But Why going back a bit, going back a little bit, uh, because uh, when I went, I asked, I had, when I was going there, leaving now Freeburg, going to Bern, I had asked the professor to check accommodation for me. So he got me some studio, uh, which is just close to the, uh, to, to the department or to the institute. Yeah. That was like about uh, September or thereabout. And come December, during the Christmas period, I realized the place, the, the institute, there's nobody. I was just alone. I stayed for a number of days. Without finding anybody to speak to, you know? <laughs> looking like a ghost town. Everybody now is in, in, in holiday, in Christmas. So when we returned in January, 
I said, I have to move out. <laughs> <laughs> and I go to a student place. I said, no. Even you, you know, when I went, I came as a doctor. Came now, that's why she was getting me this. I'm saying, no, me, I want to go to stay with the students in a student hostel. Are you sure? You? Yes, I said, yes, because here I cannot stay. Then I discovered in Switzerland that time, you cannot exit uh, some lento house just at will at whatever time. Like you do it. No, there is certain month in a year when you can exit. <laughs> <laughs> And here I am, I'm saying I must exit. Wow. And they were remaining like about, uh, I think it must have been two, three months, about three months to that's that time. Now, she said, but after I, I put uh, pressure, he said, okay, so what do we do? We can, let's, let's get a bit of ground now. What do you do is that uh, you, you exit, I will get, I will help you to exit to get to the student hostel, but then you continue paying for this one, and me, I pay for the one you moved to. Oh, wow. You get it? Yeah. So is it fine? That's fine then. Yeah. I see. So it worked out very well. Obviously, now, I, I had the, the one I was exiting was a little higher than the one where I was moving as a student hostel. But it was a better deal because now I had the opportunity to go and interact with the, with the students. Yes. And they even were going out. At least there are some people. They were the graduate students. Yes. Majority of them. Yeah. But it was okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. you couldn't mm. find somebody to mm. inhabit that. Which one? Play that house. Where are you going to get that in the middle of things like that? No. <laughs> uh, it was not possible. So yeah. you were in Switzerland for four years? Uh, yes, until uh, 2001. One. From 1997. Okay. Mm. Now you come back. Mm. Did you get your job back? You know, I was there on uh, study leave. Okay. I was there on Saturday with the University of Nairobi. So my job was secured. Okay. So when I came back, uh, the first thing now is to, by, by, by the time I was leaving, I had already moved to lecturer. Oh. Because I had already completed my master's. Yes. I had been promoted from a senior lecturer to lecturer. Yes. So when I came, now I came with my papers, everything ready, to start pushing to become senior lecturer. Yes. Yeah. And uh, the same year, either 2021, 2022, now I became senior lecturer. Yeah. So my job was secured. And then I, 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 I was determined to come back. In fact, uh, at the tail end of my program in Bern, there are different people who are asking me to join their labs, for example, and not come back. They'll say, what, 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 now you are going there. What, how much are they going to be paying you? Yeah. Very valid question. <laughs> Very valid question. Yes. Yeah. But I looked, I said, no. I need to get back to my country and serve my country. So I was determined that I must uh, uh, make significant contribution to the development of my country. Wow. Not other places. I have now acquired the necessary knowledge. So I packed my things and came back and it turned into my job and then was promoted and continued to do projects and all that until where you didn't have chosen to full to professor a, mm. a, 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 a mm. job that would pay you more mm. no 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 i was determined i must go and serve home yeah okay. yeah 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 so that was clear yeah so you mm. came back yeah, yeah. and you continued teaching yes how long did it take for you to become an a senior lecturer uh, because I came with uh, everything ready, yes. I came and they started now agitating yes. uh, for the advertisement for to be promoted. <laughs> 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 so, so I think that, that now it took uh, either the, the same 2001 or 2002. I, I think 2002 is when now I became senior lecturer, okay. just for that time. But in the meantime, I was serving in different capacities, uh, representing my department now. Uh, in, in committees in the faculty. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mm. Share just with me mm. a little if it's okay about yes. your family. Yes. Yes. How yes. you you're yes. married? Yes. Uh, just like because this you reveal as you've been talking. Yes. You have kids. Yes. How are they? How old are your yes. kids? Yeah. What do they do? Yes. Because you remember my girl, we, we knew yes. a bit about his family. Yes. So, and uh, I pray yes. a few. Yes. 
not years, but yes. uh, maybe years because you're still yes. serving here. Yes. Maybe you'll be uh, taking up the ministry, the education <laughs> ministry yes. and, yeah. and, 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 and all that. Yeah. So share with me yeah. a little about yeah. your family. Yeah, I have uh, uh, two uh, two kids, yeah, a boy and a girl, uh, and the, yeah, she did it in, uh, she was admitted here, but she used to go to Sathmo, yeah, okay. yeah, because it was uh, allowed those times when people are saying that if you come to University of Nairobi, it will take you so long oh, to finish. To finish. <laughs> So I said to Dr. Dwyer, I said, no, university is the best for you. Yes. But now the, 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 that question, I could not be able to answer. But one takes so long. That's what everybody tells yes. me. You know, that, I, as vice chancellor, I've tried now to see how to co correct that. Yes. Yeah, in fact, I had a professor this morning, he said, the, the, even the student there, they are very happy, like uh, she was from medical school. He said, those they, they joined uh, medical school with are left behind like two years, one year. But those from University of Nairobi are now wow. completing. Yeah. Yeah. So at least we, we, we have tried, especially where those program, uh, in those programs where students move in cohorts, yes. not like become where you choose which courses to do. Those ones take a little longer. Yes. But uh, most of our program now, students are finishing on time. Yeah. So that uh, was, was uh, uh, her concern. But she, she did very well. Uh, even there, and they ended up with a uh, with, uh, first class, so oh. she is okay, yeah. She's doing fine, yeah. You stole your brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then the the, other... the, 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 the son uh, went to to university briefly and then decided she want, he wanted to do uh, business. Uh, because of, of the same thing, you go to the university, then you start looking at what are these people talking about? Because you see there is a, a little issue of disconnect between the the age we are dealing with the generation z yeah and the us as faculty you know they are, they are those are uh, that is a um, generation which is exposed to a lot of digital material content and all this kind of thing and then here we, we are still the older ones yeah yes. uh, what you would call the digital immigrants yeah <laughs> we, <laughs> We are in a, in a strange world, yes. and the, but the younger people, this is the only world they know. Yeah. yeah. So he said, no, he wanted to do a, uh, to so use some part of that knowledge and they begin to do business, online business, okay. which, he, which he is doing and he is okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. As long as it's okay. Yes. That's yeah. What's yeah. <laughs> yes. And, yeah. Uh, so, mm, yeah. Uh, mm. you what what what? would you want to see the University of Nairobi look like? like mm. Do you have a vision yeah. for this university as, a, as, 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 the, as the VC? Because the university has its own vision, and, mm. but is there something you really want to see the University of Nairobi attain? Even though it's, been, it's the best university in Eastern Central every day when rankings are happening. But the other one, the previously, it was the only university among top um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 2000. Yes, yes, yeah. Mm. Mm. Would you want to see it among 500. No, we should progressively move toward the top, toward the top. Uh, because you know, the University of Nairobi admits the cream of this nation. It admits the best yes. students, yeah? So, we cannot afford to let them down, yeah? We must ensure that the kind of training that we give them makes them to remain on top, yeah? And, and, you know, even we have seen some of our students who have left here and gone to some other university, whether in U.S. or U.K., they go there and become top. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's what, that's what happens here. Yeah. So that's the University of Nairobi. So that we must continue. Obviously aware that uh, these uh, old institutions, if they do not change and adopt to the changing environment, they can also disappear. Yes. And we have seen Kenya bus service, Siju <laughs> Nakumad, Siju Taskis, Posta. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Isn't it? Yes. So we cannot avoid to just say, ah, oh, now we, we, we are okay, we have achieved. We have to be conscious every day yes. that it is possible for some other person to come out somewhere in the environment. And they, 
start new ways of doing things today, and all the young people connect with that one, and within no time we are talking to ourselves how great we are, then we just disappear. So we are very conscious. I'm very conscious about this. So my vision is to ensure that the University of Nairobi remains resilient and adaptable to the changing environment, yeah? So that the university of yesterday will not be the university of tomorrow. Because the university of tomorrow will be dictated by the changed environment and it will have adopted and it will be able to take those young people and they see they fit into it, yeah? So, we have decided that we must continue to trigger the university, the, the university student mind to be innovative, yes. to be critical thinkers in the way they do their things. Yeah. We must adopt more and more digital uh, learning yeah, and a digital campus in the way we do our things. Yeah. Uh, because th this generation is not ready for being sent letters <laughs> and to go at the open with a stamp. Yes. <laughs> they don't even know what that is. They, if you send them a message, they know how to read and they, and they adopt and they take a decision. The older people want to see a letter signed <laughs> <laughs> and they pinned in a notice board. Yes. So if you continue to pin a notice board, these people are not there to go to see what you have written in a notice board. So we must adopt. We must ensure that we trigger their mind to be innovative, to begin creating solutions for themselves and for the country at large. Yeah. We must continue to trigger on the issue of research. We must also, of importance, be in shit procedures that will make University of Nairobi sustainable. I'd said even before, when I came in 2020, we must, we must make University of Nairobi relevant. We must make it vibrant. We must make it sustainable. It must, it, it must outlive us. It must continue because we are protecting the students who are in and those who graduated. Can you imagine, like yourself, when you graduated? Now you find the University of Nairobi is not there. If you are working, you are asked in your workplace, where did you study? My so, high school is not there. <laughs> your high school is not yes. there? Yes, so to digress, I, it I, I was called to a, there's a school in Oma called Agorosari. Agorosari? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's one of the best. Yes. I think. <laughs> yes. But uh, because I was being supported by my uncle yes. as an orphan, yes. I was taking it to a school that had just been started. Yes. And imagine students were the ones uh, building, like we, we used to have mad world classes. Yes. And we'd be the one building it. But yes. the owner, mm. he didn't have a good vision and did not uh, yes. establish the school well. Yes. He some education closed it down. And I was the head boy. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a bad, we have bad blood. There's a bad relationship between me yes. and the owner of the school. Even though it's, it's almost 10 years ago. Even today? Yes. Yeah, so most people <laughs> yes. know, my classmates here, in those who those I was with here, no, I, I attended the Gorosari. But that's not the school I attended. <laughs> <laughs> So my, my school is not there. It was going to work. And I'm so bitter about Even it. you don't want to mention it. No, I don't want to. So I understand. I understand. Isn't it? You get it now. Yeah. So so you even when you say Gorzale, you can be asked like, uh, I think it's somebody who was asked, can you show a photo yes. of those students you get? Who, 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 who are your classmates? Who are your classmates? <laughs> You get it? Yes. So, so we are conscious of that. That uh, when we know that how the environment has been changing and that if we don't adopt or become resilient, we can disappear. We are so conscious about those people who graduated from here. Yes. We must protect them. Yes. So we must do whatever it takes to ensure that the University of Nairobi remains with a big name, good blood. Yeah. Because then we are blooding those people. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it? So that is, is my vision, to ensure that the University of Nairobi is sustainable and that remains relevant to what is required today, not yesterday, and that it shines, it's vibrant, yeah. I want mm, to open yeah. a wound, a, a wound, I want to open a wound that I probably should be open. Okay. I remember when you were, it, it was not easy for you to become the VC. Yes. I, I remember very well. Yes. Uh, and uh, there were a few things, court cases and all that. Mm. By 
without going into details, mm. why do you think there was a problem to have Kiyama come yeah. to this even after serving the university for all that yeah. long mm. and being qualified? Yeah. yeah. The, the problem is, uh, is actually our kasha. Is our kasha. Uh, you know, we lived in the in the Kano era for so many years, yeah? Where things like, uh, it, it was, there were no clear rules, yeah? Okay. You know, there was no issue like merit are not known. It is who you know. Yes. You get it? Yeah, and you know, there was some time, if, if uh, the, somebody died, and you are a member of parliament, your son or your wife was now the one who was nominated to be elected. You get it? Without checking about whether they have the quality or not. So, there are two ways of accessing public office. One is through uh, merit, yeah? Uh, which you go through interview. The other one is through elections. And you know elections, so long as the people uh, elect you, even if whatever method you used, yes. your competency is not uh, should be considered. <laughs> so considered because even you, you, some other person who will be more competent may not even be able to express themselves yes. on, on, to show those competencies. And the people say, mm, we don't want this one, we want this one. At least this one can represent us. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes. So that is one of the ways. The other way is only made. But there are still people believe that there is no method that exists. What only exists is who you know. Yeah. Okay? Who you know. If you don't know somebody, then you just forget it. But we cannot run a country like that. We cannot run our institutions like that. Isn't it? So that was the problem. Because some people who were in power that time looked and they saw, where is this one coming? See, I told you about diasary school. Yes. See, but where is this? He comes from which family? Yes, where? How? <laughs> Come from there to here. Yes, no. yeah. No, the ones we know is this one, and this one, and this one. These ones we can tell they are coming from some big name. And they are known by this. Yeah, this one that, in fact, they were saying, we are going to Kidogo to Bujue. To Bujue Kwaza. You still have time. Yes, to Bujue Kwaza. Rinani. Yeah, so that was the, the complication. But it is just because uh, that, that bad kasha we have. We must exit it as a people. Uh, we must begin progressively to check on people's competences. So that, because that's the country of the future. Yes. Isn't it? Otherwise we'll, be, we'll just be learning old ideas. Because you are known and you think like this, then you continue. Everybody ch ch uh, passes the baton to a person who thinks like them. But the country here is changing, but you people here, you are just changing. But the other people are learning faster than you. Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. But you, you, you can only pass a baton to the person you know. No. All kind of this, kind of this. Yes, no. Yeah. Isn't it? So as a country, that is very just. So that's where that matter was coming from. Okay. But you were able later to reconcile it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, hmm. How has it been running in your life? Do you still... How, 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 what's your term? It's five years? It's five years, yes. Do you think you can do this first five and, and then, and, you know? No, the, 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 I have five, yeah? Yes. The others, it's other people who decide. You get yes. it? Now, I signed the contract for five. Yes. What I can tell you is that uh, it is not an easy job to do. No, 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 no. It's a 24-hour job, yeah. <laughs> Running from home. <laughs> no, all the time it is it is with you. Yeah, that is that's one of the things you have to know. You know, like uh, University of Nairobi. You know, it is everywhere. Yeah, we are there in Mombasa, in Kisumu, in Kikuyu, in Lokabete, in Kenyatta, in Kenya Science, in Chiromo. Yes. Here, main wow. campus. We have students here. We have students. Uh, in uh, accommodated in various essential estates, yes. when they have problem, the stops it stops with you. <laughs> Isn't it? Well, staff, we have staff everywhere. We take care of their health. If a staff is somewhere and, and, and uh, he has some, uh, a problem, a health problem, we are told, 
They have to be evacuated and treated and attended to, you know. Like when we had COVID. The well, big problem, ensuring that when the uh, student or staff get problem, they can get a space in a hospital. Otherwise, if they die, then they'll be saying, oh, you did not facilitate to get a bed quickly for me. You get the family cannot. So that is the University of Nairobi. But the most difficult part uh, is when you are learning it without adequate resources. Yes. Like what we found. You know, if it is just about how to solve those problems, we are trained well enough, we are strong, yeah. But you know, when it needs money, where do you get it? Even if you borrow, where, how are you going to pay? So that is a challenge. Because at some point, the government thought that it is not a priority. So they went and they decided, let's reduce their, the, money, the amount of money we give them. Yeah, the yes, let's reduce the funding. So by the time I come, I find an institution that is uh, that, that's almost uh, going on its <laughs> So you just, you just wonder, is this what I, I came to do here? When I was coming, I was coming with a lot of ideas about how we are going to carry out research, how we are going to do consultation. Now you are just finding yourself, you are trying to, to, to stop a car from being auctioned. <laughs> 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 You can get that kind of thing. Yes. To ensure the students have water, you know, because the, the water, the, the, the city council of people want to, to cut the water, power is being it cut. Is be like yes, it has not been paid. You get it. Some other spaces had been leased. People are writing you letter to threaten you. You know, they are going to auction your property. So, there are you some just, lands. Where? Uh, where was that land that uh, Karibu Mnyangani? Yes. You see those kind of things. So you just come and find, you, when you are coming, you are coming as a professor. And you are saying how the institution is going to be great, how you are going to connect it with other people, partners. And, then you come and you are finding you are dealing with those kind of funny things. Yeah. But we have tried to <laughs> walk through and ensure that those are, to some extent, behind us. And now we have started building a very critical mass of friendships now with the very strategic organizations who look at us now at that level. Yeah, because you know when you are incubated by those kind of things, you, you can imagine if you are somewhere and, and you cannot even be able to afford yourself a cup of tea or, or even a good shirt like what you are wearing now. Even, even other people do not want to be seen with you. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. So, you, so one of the things we have to ensure we try to do is how can we get out of that kind of uh, that, that problem? And we, we have in a good way, manage to, to just get out. And we are now on that path, and, and we are getting very, very many friends who want to work and, and work with us. And I think for you to mm. get back and, and, and yeah. on track, yeah. on, on track yeah. you had to sacrifice a lot of your work. I remember there are people I knew here yeah. that just went yeah. to a crime. Yes. They really Maybe they didn't get you, yes. but so many people cried. Even at the School of Journalism, yeah. our library, yeah. at the finance, several departments, there are so many people who mm. are related. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we, we, we said this. We said, okay, it's possible we can just continue, all of us, uh, and we cry. And, and, uh, cry, and then we all disappear. <laughs> and they all disappear. Or, we have to make certain sacrifices, yes. yeah? And then we leave tomorrow. For the sake of everyone, what I said. Because the University of Nairobi is about the students that we have here and those who graduated. Uh -huh. If we begin to think only about having at this degree at a computer lab and keeping something that we have to pay, then after that it collapses. Then those who graduated do not know what to write in their CV, yeah? <laughs> so, so we had to make certain, certain uh, very, very difficult decisions, uh, but quite moderated in terms of uh, deliberately reducing staff. Uh, sometimes it was contract come to an end, then we maybe we don't renew. But we have depended more on uh, those who retire. The, those, when you retire, then we don't hire like that. And the numbers we have been able to manage it. Uh, quite uh, significantly through that method. Yes, yeah. I remember, yeah. maybe you know, in mm. Adam, mm. a lecturer, I was called mm. 
Uh, he wasn't a doctor. Yes. He used to call Dr. Chilo. He, Chilo. Yes, 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 yes. He retired. He retired. Yes. He used to have a lot, a lot of conversation with him at his office. He. And he was like, you know, when I retire, where am I going to take all this knowledge? He. But he told me, I'll just go home and keep my car there. He. Yes. So I've never talked to him. <laughs> he retired. And I think uh, for the for the good of the university, I mm. hope those decisions were mm. able to you know have the university get back to track. Yes, yes, and, uh, and we also we also reduce a lot of fat uh, yeah. wherever in uh, wherever we had uh, uh, so many offices. Yes, so there was so much ma margins. Yes, right? yeah, we had to do a bit of magic because you have you know any time you create an office, uh, you call a director this. Then after that. You have to provide a secretary to that person. Yes. Then you provide a messenger. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Then you provide a, a, a crack, record crack, to be keeping the record. Because if you are called director, you cannot be the one opening files yes. and uh, registering this file or this and, and uh, passing the file if you need to take it to another. So you are, whatever content you are generating, you have a number of people now to be delivering and uh, the, you see. Mm -hmm. So we say, no, 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 no. We reduce so that we have those people do real work now. Yeah, the work, they, they don't need a lot of that support. If you are a researcher, you just go and do your own things and write papers. But if you are put it to be director or put it to be principal, then you need all those people to do the work because you, are, you cannot be accountant, you cannot be procurement officer, you cannot be transport officer. So now you just be put there, but then these people have to be put around you to do the work. Your work is also by them. But what do you need? You went to school to be professor. You get it. And then, so the university have to spend a lot of money. So we managed now to say, okay, let us uh, downsize here. Let's uh, do this. Let's, let's uh, fine tune here. We remove duplication so that we leave tomorrow. Is it true that IMF coerced you people to do that? What out there was yeah. that? Uh, I think yeah. Owen and Kenyatta University hey. was to downsize. No, 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 no. By the time IMF was coming to say that they want to work with the government to find out how to deal with uh, some of these uh, big institutions, us, we had already done what we needed to do, yeah. Okay. Hey. Now, mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm sure this you never had, or I don't know, mm -hmm. Mr. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you really have shared with you. Yeah. Anytime you are on TV, yeah. or uh, there's a story out there. Yes. This is not relevant, what I want to share with you. Okay, yes. You know, there are so many students, especially yes. University of Nairobi students, who compare how good looking their VCE is yes. and other VCE. <laughs> I don't know whether that has come to your attention. No, it doesn't. They're always very presentable. <laughs> yes, yes. Looking yeah. always sharp. Yes, yeah. That yeah. has never come to your attention? No, I just, because I just do my work. Or it has not come to tell me this. No, but our vision is high. So a lot of a lot of girls <laughs> yes. they joke a lot like yes. maybe they, 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 yes. somebody yes. 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 somebody talks yes. about man this is my boyfriend yes. in the University of Nairobi VC yes. and then like ah what happened to me and then <laughs> for VC. that has never come to your attention no. it's something that always happens okay a lot of people yeah. think mm. and 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 regard mm. you as very okay. sharp okay good looking okay yes uh, yeah. you yeah. put on so well thank you. So what was your response? It's good that you have never, it's never come to your attention. I, I, I think the, the issue is that I, I, I myself, I, when I go there, I don't need to prepare for it because I just talk it as it is. Yeah. So uh, and uh, uh, I've been in this uh, for quite a long time in the lab, doing my research, teaching, and I have interacted with the, so many people from in Kenya here and out there. I've traveled in many countries of, of, of this uh, planet, yeah? So I have good exposure, yeah. And uh, I learned a long time that it is good to be able to express yourself, to say what it is, yeah? And, and let the other people also say, and then you say yours, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I, I'm just myself, and that, that's a bit of it, yeah, yeah. Okay. Eh, 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 eh. Uh, the office here is open. The students can come. Yeah, yeah. Like before. Yeah. So we, we, the management and get students yeah. free. Yeah. Oh. So, so we engage, we engage with our faculty and the students uh, freely. Yeah. 
because I have, I went through this university. Yes. Uh, as a student, up to my master's, PhD I went out, yeah. I was hired here immediately I finished, up to the level of professor. I have served here from chairman of the department to vice chancellor. So this is really home. When I'm here and when I'm talking, I'm talking like the way you talk in your house, you know. Yes. Yeah, it's like free, yeah. Okay. Yeah, not, not limited. But uh, I, 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 I like that uh, a positive comment. That's a good recommendation. I will continue that with them. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's something I wanted to ask. I almost forgot. What's your, what's your, what's your reaction? The, the, the way you're trying to say, what yeah. do you call it? <laughs> what, whatever it is, yeah. It, it, it's actually uh, trying to address the issue of how undergraduate students are funded in the universities. That's what that model is about. Before, we had a system where government places students, after it places, then it looks for whatever little money it has, then it says, you work with this one. But don't charge the student anything. Just work with that one. Just work with what I get. So the fee, the fees is known, for example, Let's say the fees is known, like, like for medicine, yeah, you need to pay maybe 600,000 uh, care shillings per year. So the government says, these are the students, but uh, we, we have 300 for each of them. There's something, yeah. Yeah, for this, <laughs> use it, yeah. So that is dangerous because the risk is that uh, the quality can continue to decline because you will just have to, as uh, the, the, the professors now, we just have to make do whatever is there. Yeah. So slowly the institutions can collapse. Now the other risk is that the institution decided, because of the way we have been trained, and we don't want to have a, a poor quality, we decided now to be borrowing. We borrow from here, we borrow from here. You have heard like, uh, yes. they have not even care, right? they have not paid the pension, they have not, this is borrowing, you know. And you, they, to ensure quality they remains, they are dead. But how long can you continue to borrow to sustain that quality? Isn't it? You cannot do it. You can only borrow to a certain limit. After that, you stop. Then the quality now, yes. and then if you are not careful, just collapse. So what now was agreed is this: if the fees is only six hundred, let's have six hundred paid. The issue is where does it come from? Aha, uh -huh. government says, us, when we admit someone for, to medicine, and the person is very clear, the, even where they, how they reached here, they were coming through bursaries, and they had difficulties, is known, their family is known. Government, we are going to pay 600 for that person. Yeah? Mm. Now, another one is coming to do your medicine, and they say, aha, uh -huh, where are you? You are, you are coming from one of these very expensive uh, 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 secondary high schools, yeah, where the parents were, may, were paying a lot of money yes. for you to, to, to go to that, that secondary school. They say, uh, uh, this, this, this one you can be able to continue, yeah. isn't it? Okay. You pay this one. You are paying there. The chance is still there for you to do medicine, but now you pay. So that is the thing. And now the, those are the two extremes. Then there is, there is a method help is going to you to graduate them now oh. to see who should get what. Yeah. Then uh, there are those, uh, the government also say, okay, you bring this one, you pay this one, and then we have this amount of money. If you wish, you can apply for this loan. Yeah. If you don't have all of it, apply for loan. And then you pay when you finish. Yeah. So, so that nobody fails now to come to the university because of the issue of lack of money. Yes. But the university is paid the full fee, as is known. The only issue is that since there are many students who had been admitted with the previous method before, those who continue for being financed using the same method. Uh -huh. But the incoming group, which is coming before end of this year, that is the method that will be used. Next year the same way, the following year the same way, until we get all the students in the four, five, six years uh, applying that method. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. And, and, and mm. uh, again, something, mm. I think uh, I brought my mm. cousin here mm. to the, yeah. just because there is like a examiner of the yeah. Yeah. Is it what it 
the School mm. of Distance Learning and Yes, Learning. yes, yeah. And uh, for a diploma. Yeah. Anyway, the fee had been almost tripled. Yes. Why, why did you do that, <laughs> Mr. <Vistu>? <laughs> <laughs> why did you do that? <laughs> you know, we found it this way, yeah? Uh, we had only a certain number of teachers and the staff in the university when we did not have parallel or module two programs. Yeah? Like now, if I take like uh, my department, there were not more than about five teachers or something like this. When this other program started, the number came to about 15, 16, 20, you get it. So we had so many people. But also, we, the, the amount of money we were charging for module, uh, for that parallel module too, was so little because the government was financing everything. This was just extra money. Yes. Okay? So I did the numbers and I found out, for example, University of Nairobi with about 60,000 students. Yeah? About 20,000 of those module one. Yeah? Because it takes like about 5,000, 5,000 every yeah, year. Yes. About 20,000. Now, when you consider, you consider the amount of money you are collecting from the 20,000, uh, would work to about uh, 5 billion. Yeah? The amount of money you are collecting from 40,000 would be 4 billion. Mm. Fact, yeah. Because, okay. the, because we, whatever we were charging was so little. We were charging for module, for module 2 because we were charging little, hoping that because of numbers, we can compensate through the numbers. Yes. Okay? Yeah. But the problem is, we have increased also the cost. If we did not increase the cost, it would have made sense. Yes, if we did not do that, it would have made sense. You know, uh, because we went here, we started hire, we would hire people even to stay at the door to control who has paid fees, who has not yes. paid fees. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? And people like us not really have friends. Yeah. You, you get it? Yeah. And, and then we, we, we had to establish some other organs for managing that fees, G3s, you know, those kind of things. And before it was uh, CESP. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. So we had to, we put a lot of structures to try to manage this increase, uh, this Module 2 student. But the amount of money we are, we are charging is so little. If, we, if we, we did not increase this side, it would have made sense. If we did not increase the expenditure. But we did that. Yeah, yeah. So we had now to ensure that even those who are coming on Module 2 are paying as well as those who are coming through Module 1. Because Module 1, if you recall, the government, you will be asked to pay some little fees, 60,000 or something like that. But you see, government will also pay what I'm talking about grant. The only thing is they were not paying 100%. They were paying, initially they paid like 60%, then they pay, by last year, it was like 48 percent is what they were paying. But that was still better than what we were charging module two students. Okay? So we said, no, the module two students must also be charged, just like the ones who are, who are being placed by government, so that they cover this increased cost. Yeah. Like now, that extra mural. We had opened so many centers, and we had hired the staff there, isn't it? We were paying electricity and add water, add internet, add transport to go to those centers, many centers, and paying for the lease. And then you are charging them little, little money. Finally, uh, when I came in, I found even we were not paying rent. Yeah. Many of those places were owing millions of shillings. Wow. Yeah. Even to say now that, that I want to move out and move away with the furniture, they say, no, you cannot move until you pay us. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you know, that was the problem. Yeah. So he said, no, if you start those, you, you must charge properly. And they ensure you, 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 you are an entrepreneurial university. You have a business approach to what you do. Yeah. Yeah. How is uh, yeah. UNES doing? UNES, and I've shared this elsewhere, was a great idea. The conception was just correct thing. But 
Immediately after that, you know, we brought up this issue of the, the Public Procurement Asset Disposal Act, mm. the state corporations, yes. and then it, it, it put that if you create any entity uh, as a government body, that entity also becomes a state corporation. Okay. So you find, if you are invited for a meeting, you are invited for a meeting as a CEO of a state corporation, I'll be sitting here, the MD units will also be sitting here. He has five staff, and that is the end of it. I have this number of staff, and this number of students, and this number of things to do. So it is an incongruence of some uh, management by, 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 by our systems here. Yeah. Something that needs to be corrected. Then, when, they, when he, the, the, the director there, or that CEO, uh, C, CEO want to do something, he is just as in Q-Bad. Just like any other. Not, you cannot do any business. If you want to go and buy some fertilizer to go and, uh, and, uh, and uh, grow something, you have to go through procurement, then some, wow. then some cartels increase the price of fertilizer. Then finally, when you get, whatever you grow will be more expensive than another farmer. Yes, because of the input. The other farmer will get much more yes. than you get. So th that uh, has given us a little challenge. We are working with them now to see uh, how can they look for a different space to operate, like consultancy to coordinate mm -hmm. a faculty from different departments, coordinate them yeah, as a central place. How can they try to see the innovations that come about in the university to incubate them and then make business out of them? So that's where now we are trying to work with them. But of course, if you do this business of uh, Asiki and selling uh, a tea and a mandasi, you may not go very far because the unga you have to buy through procurement. You what? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, yeah, now yeah, yeah. when the tower was mm, built, mm, 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 mm. I don't remember well. I don't know whether it was mm. built at a cost of 2.3 or 2.6 billion. Yeah, yeah. How much was it? I think uh, when I hear, I wasn't here at yes. that time. Okay. Uh, it's Almost, I think, about three billion or thereabout. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you think it was uh, a, a, a venture? Let me say that that that, that, mm. that was worth it. Because uh, mm. this is my thing. Mm. Mm. It's so big. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. It's okay. It, yes. it, it, yeah. it supports uh, mm. even classes. Yeah. yeah. Those that were moved. Yeah. Have you thought, or is it happening that uh, other companies and organizations can rent offices here, and that becomes a source of uh, yes, yes, you know, when uh, people come and visit uh, me here, yeah, they come and say, wow, this is very good, this is excellent, and all that. Uh, but, uh, and that's it, that's good, you know, you can go and buy some nice uh, uh, Mercedes or, or whatever it is, yeah, out there. And then people say, wow, can you give, get me a ride, yeah? But after they leave, then you have to really think about uh, uh, how, how you are going to change the tire yes. and the cost of that tire, isn't it? Yes. Uh, if you have to go to, to do uh, repairs, uh, how much you are going to pay for it? You have to think, that those are the things that uh, go through my mind. Yeah. It would have been uh, maybe slightly strategic, yeah? If we probably uh, put this money and, and went to some investment, okay? And went and put up some, some, some flats or some business building and make money and then use that to come and do this. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. Yeah, so that uh, would have been because different, yeah. Of urgency. Uh, in, no, given that uh, you need that issue of sustainability, the, it's just a issue of priority. It could have been done. Yes. But after doing some other thing, you get it. It's just like yeah, I was saying, you have uh, uh, good money, then you just go and buy some big car. It's a good thing. It will take you. You can carry more people with it, and et cetera. But maybe if you, you, you went and took it to money market or something, isn't it? Yes. You would still have been able to buy one later, isn't it? And, and then live longer yeah, that, that is in a sustainable way. That concept of sustainability. Uh, was not uh, uh, put in immediately, yeah. But uh, as I said, when people see it, they say, wow, yeah.
Yeah. Apart from yeah. this yeah. uh, yeah. backlit now, Absa, mm. that mm. we knew used to yeah. be manager. Mm. Is there any other organization that have rented or uh, leased uh, spaces yeah. here? No, no, it's only Barclays who are down here. Uh, but we have other, in the compound, we have some others. Like if you go to geography there, you see another facility there. Yeah? So like that. But in the so tower here, it's, it's, yeah. it's mainly, it's mainly uh, Barclays. But then also, you know, the, the Shadaria yeah. Hall. There are many people who, who lend it to do various activities there. Yeah. And even though many of our floors, they take, we are always having meetings here. Yeah, people see it as a very strategic and a secure place and they, to hold big they meetings, pay. and they pay. Yeah, they pay. They pay. Okay. They pay. Yeah. I, I guess. I guess you. Mm. This mm. got your attention. Yeah. A lot of people, I think alumni yeah. and uh, some people who yeah. respected my board, yeah. thought that it would be so nice yeah. to rename this town. Yes. As Magoa, University of Magoa, George Magoa town. Yes. Did yeah. that get your attention? No, 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 that one did it. it. No, 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 that one did it, yeah. No, it's just you. Look at the living of the university. When, 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 when Magua died, one is contribution to the university and the education sector. Well, you know, we say as a university, we need to uh, have a place to recognize those who contributed in the transformative ways yes. to the way the university is today. That's the program we have. And not only f for, for him, but considering all the people who have been through this university and what they have been able to do and to achieve. And we have many, you know, people like Professor Wangari Madai, who are here and what they ended up becoming. Yeah? You know others like Professor Odingo. Yeah? Isn't it? Yes. You know others like the Professor Okidi. Yeah? So we have, we have big names, people who have caused clear transformation in this country. So we have, we have discussed and said that we will look at all that and see what, and you know now, even currently, even the current president is a graduate of this university. Yes, he is. Yes, isn't it? Yes. Even the, 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 the graduate and even up to PhD. Yes. Yeah. We have others, like even the, the speaker of the National Assembly. Yeah. The speaker of Senate, the chief justice. Yeah. So we have done. So we have many people. So the issue is just to see when we put all those people, uh, what do we do now to recognize them? Okay. So we, we cannot say because you served as vice chancellor, and therefore it, you, you get it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it must be we we will put them and see this one and this one and this one we can do. Yeah. 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 Okay, hey, this hey, is my last question. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, up to, mm. or before 2020, you became this in 2020? Yes, 2020, January, yeah. Up to 2020, yeah. what was your relationship with Magoa? Oh, it, it was very good relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, yes, yes, very good relationship. Because, you know, me, I joined, I joined the administration in 2003, uh, when I came in as acting dean and uh, also associate dean. I remember he was a DVC at some point. I called him to support for strategic plan for faculty of veterinary medicine as a young staff, supported us. I served, uh, when I was serving, this time I was serving as a commissioner for student lecture. He's the one who was appointing me. Appointed, oh. yes, he's the one to be the, 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 the son who electoral commission. Yeah, he would trust me on that kind of a, a, a complicated thing, yeah. <laughs> Uh, even when uh, there was some um, uh, review, you know, there was sometimes there was a caretaker, governor is here. I don't know whether yes. he's the one who used to say, yes, to translate that. from the caretaker to conduct elections. I was the one who was appointed as a chair of the committee to manage that process on how to get from caretaker to an elected governance of student body. Yeah. So I worked very closely with him. He's the one who appointed me as director of Wangari Mother Institute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I, uh, very, very, very closely, yeah, yeah. What, what, what remarkable thing would you remember him for? Yeah. Oh, the, what I remember him for was Wangari Mada Institute. I, I, had, I met Professor Wangari Mada. I had met her earlier, but 2008 when we agreed that we needed to, to put up a, a, a center here, where she can come and bring her knowledge and experience to the university students and the community. And after we agreed, then I called and I asked an appointment with the VC to come with Wangari. When we came, 
and we presented it to Mangoha the concept. He just immediately said, uh, we proceed that I started going to look for an office for Angali in the university, even as we are trying to conceptualize. Within the same week or the following week, he asked for the document. I remember I was in my office doing uh, some other thing. The secretary called and said, the VC has said there is something you came and uh, uh, presented to him. Can you send the, the document? I had some, uh, some kind of a document which was not completely finished. I sent it was tabled in the, in the management and they approved. That wow. used to be, yeah. So I, I remember him for that, yeah. And then after that, he brought it to send it. Yeah. The other people were saying, oh, what are you going to be doing in this institute? What is going to be? But it was a big idea, and he was able to get it immediately as an idea that this is an idea that we should run away with. Okay. And it was a separation. And finally, we were able to get funds even to put it up at uh, Bakabete campus. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now, uh, hey, lastly, hey. What, mm -hmm. uh, what would you want to tell your students mm -hmm. and uh, stakeholders mm -hmm. of this great university yeah. as your party shot? You just tell them that uh, the world has changed a lot. And the, this institution, so many people have placed a high expectations on it. It is actually the conscience of this country. Yes. This country is the way it is today because of the University of Nairobi. Whether it is uh, because of the democratization process, whether it is in agriculture, whether it's in architecture, whether it's in health, all areas is because of and journalism. Yeah? What we are today is because of what the University of Nairobi has done. It is no time to rest. It is time to fold yeah? our mukeka yeah? and move on so that we can continue to inspire more people to do better and more for this country. We must be there in the forefront to provide the inspiration for Kenyans. We must be there to provide different ways of doing things to open the horizon for more job opportunities for our young people in terms of the ideas and startups and business mind thinking mind that we will get from this university moving forward. Okay. We have a big role to play. Okay. Thank you uh, so much, VC. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Yeah. Pleasure. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, there's an, our education editor, I think he tried to reach you. Yes. He texted you. Mchungu. Mchungu. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, oh yeah, maybe I don't remember because I sometimes, yeah. yeah. Because he told me, hey. he was there to reach me. Maybe I was away. I said I will call back and then I. Yes. 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 So no, you know, you know, I, I <laughs> thought about doing this story. Uh -huh. But I also say, ah, let me also share with uh, mm. the education, the education leader, because I know I would get to you through. <laughs> oh, <laughs> through all Yes. Yeah. 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 So uh, uh -huh. I, I was just wondering if you feel so. So he's a uh, text message. Uh, and uh, mm -hmm. something, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. when I was here at UN, mm -hmm. I always wanted to join UN even as a young kid. Yes. Now, when I came to join the University of Nairobi, yes. I'm now homeless. And I decided to just come. Yes. I had another a, a fundraiser here in our church uh. and brought it here. Yes. 100,000. I paid, I paid it, I remained with a board. I, I think it was 150. Yes. 150 shillings. Yes. And I was homeless. So there are some of your lecturers here yes, yes. who paid my school fees. Yes. I don't know maybe, maybe if you maybe know them. There's uh, Dr. Kamau Mwangi. Yes, I know Kamau Mwangi. Yeah. There's, uh -huh. uh, there's used to be one Dr. Kamau Mubu. Uh -huh. Then there's Dr. Ria. Dr. Ria. Oriaso. Oriaso is the chair now. Yeah. Mm. You see that man. Mm. A lot happened. Yeah. But I'm so happy because I'm opening it up to you. Yes. There are things that happened that should not have happened. Like, yes. I did not have anywhere to go yeah. and exams come. Yes. I just present myself. To Ariaso, yeah. To the exam room. Yes, yeah, to the exam room, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And uh, I, was the I was the student leader. Yes, yeah, yeah. And it was not something that should have happened. Yes. But I didn't, know how, I didn't have anywhere to go. Yes. 
And that those used to drop me home when I shared with them my story. Yes. There used to be a young lecturer here called somebody Kilemi, the son of Kilemi. Yeah, okay. I don't know whether you heard of him. I, I didn't he used know to him. Lecture yeah. this. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Now he works with uh, YouTube. Works with Google. I, he worked with Google Ireland, mm -hmm. but now he works with TikTok in Ireland. Uh -huh. 